Hello everyone, Professor Wood. My name is Katherine Gonzalez and today I will be speaking on two artists from the 1900s, Gertrude Kaisbeer and Mary Stevenson Cassatt. Gertrude Kaisbeer was born in May 18, 1852 and died October 12, 1934. She was an American photographer who was known for her images of motherhood. She made portraits of Native Americans and her promotion of photography as a career for women. Her career in art led from her being a mother. She studied, she studied painting at Pratt Institute and opened a portrait studio in New York City in the year of 1897, which then led, which then she ended up switching into photography. Her family helped her out to pose for her photo photographs of motherhood. Kaiser revealed her photographs in Philadelphia Photographic Society exhibitions. In the year of 1889, Alfred Stoglitz reproduced five of her images in his journal camera notes. Then in the year of 1890, Gertrude Kaysbeer became one of the first two women to be elected to the British linked ring. Two years after, she became a founding member of the Stiglitz Photo Session Group. Gertrude Kaysbeer went separate ways from Stiglitz and the Photo Session in 1912. Gertrude Kaisbeer still, still did continue her photography, but then closed her studio in the year of 1929. The photograph, The Artist's Daughter, Her Mind, and Her Children at Tea, is from the year of 1910. This photograph is very significant because Gertrude Kaisbeer shows her side of what she does best is photograph of motherhood. Her first career was being a mother, which led to her to capture these beautiful photographs that spoke loudly of motherhood. Motherhood is something very relatable all around the world, so when someone sees these, photo sees these photographs by her, they quickly are able to relate and speak on the photographs because it, is, because it is something very common and yet very unique at the same time. Because motherhood is a unique experience that mothers go through every day. This photograph, the artist's daughter, her mind, and her children at tea is very personal and yet very nurturing because it is her own daughter sitting at with her, with her own children, which are her grandkids. The photograph captures a moment of a mother sitting outside with her children while having a cup of tea. It truly represents motherhood at every angle because you can see that she has her children by her side this might be just a moment to enjoy that cup of tea but as a mother you always have your children along right beside you in this photograph you are able to see how the surrounding of the image is darkened you are able to see how the shadows from behind such as trees the grass even the shadowing from the cat's fur below then you have the light focus on the mother and her children but especially the mother the light hits right and center reflecting on the mother and children. From the light color, from their clothing to the tea silverware, the image, image perfectly captures and focuses on the mother and her children while having tea. The boy watching the kitty eat and the little girl standing from behind while holding a branch in her hand. In this photograph, the image seems to be perfectly clear on that on the mother and the children's face faces seem to be a bit blur. Now we're going to speak on Mary Stevenson Cassatt. Mary Stevenson Cassatt was an American paint and paint maker. She was born on May 22, 1844 and died in June 1926. She was born in the city of Allegheny, Allegheny in Pennsylvania, but she lived most of her adult life in France. When in France, she became friends with Edgar Degas and revealed her impression, impressionism. Mary Stevenson Cassatt often did create paintings of social and private lives of women, and she also did paintings of intimate bonds between mothers and children. Cassatt 
grew up in an environment where she viewed travel. She spent five years in Europe and visited many of the capitals, such as London and Paris and Berlin. Cassatt had her first lessons in drawing and music while she was overseas and ended up learning German and French. The oil painting Françoise in a round chair reading from 1909 is one of her very known paintings. Mary Stevenson Cassatt was very known for her drawings and paintings of children. Most of these paintings and drawings were all so very realistic looking. She had such talent to make these paintings or drawings come to life. In this painting, Françoise in a round chair reading... The reason being why it is so significant is because it looks very realistic of this little girl reading her book while she's while she's sitting. Cassatt tends to show so much truth to these paintings or drawings. They seem to come to life and become so vivid and the paintings of children or mothers with their children seem to be so common. Something that we all have seen before or have gone through as children with par- with their parents. The paintings and drawings are very relatable and that just lets the audience have a common relationship, something that just touches us within. In the painting of Francoise in a round chair reading, there seems to be a little girl who is reading a book as she sits in a room. She seems to be very focused as if she does not know that there are people looking at her. In this painting around her, it seems to be darker in color using great grayer tones, dark green, dark green from the outside of the window. Looking at the painting, it is as if Casa purposely brightens the ones with color in the center. As the main focus being the little girl reading. Even though the painting is of this little girl reading the book, the book does not seem to get much of the attention. The book is a darker blue shade, which just does not seem to get your attention as you look at it. As you take a look at at the painting, the focus tends to be on the little girl looking down to her book. Her dress, hair, bow, her skin tone just seems to be a little, a bit lighter tone. As if there is light that reflects on her to be the main, so it could be the main focus of the painting. In this painting, there is a window in the back, but still does not seem to catch the attention as as the little girl. Cassaw seems to make it very loud and clear to who she wants her audience to focus on. It all just ties in all very well. She makes it seem as if there is to be a spotlight in this painting, and that would be on the little girl reading the book.